Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's Thursday as I'm doing this. It is of course the big commemoration of the Normandy landings D-Day. All eyes are over there. I have been a little late or waiting, hanging around to do these readings to see if those in Montecito try to draw some eyes to them. So far nothing, thank goodness. And I hope that that continues to be the case, that they have the decency to stay silent and out of sight today of all days. Uh, Prince William is having his moment to shine. Uh, he's deputising or has deputised for the king at the big um, commemoration event at Omaha beach and uh, he's there with 25 heads of state and uh, has given a speech he managed even to uh, speak some French and uh, he's looking absolutely um, fabulous very uh, kingly very regal I think that's a better word and um, connecting with people very well all of the royal family are um, doing fantastically wherever they are in the UK or in France uh, working very hard working very hard to connect um, and uh, make this the fitting tribute that it should be except of course for the one in Montecito Harry so unfortunately today we are going to look at Harry there have been some puff pieces about Harry's sadness uh, that he's been left out of these events uh, but yeah uh, choices my darling choices and chickens and roosting Knights Templar Tarot not the conspiracy theory version just the um, uh, closest to service that I can get without getting my uh, rather sinister zombie tarot out not today I don't think we don't need that today doing a Celtic cross let's see how it's going in Montecito how Harry is feeling today uh, he who has prided himself on his service and his connection with veterans and all of that, the only royal of this generation. Well, Prince Andrew saw active service very bravely in the Falklands. Uh, Brett Harry, of course, was allowed to allegedly fight in Afghanistan. We don't know if he actually did. Bunker Harry, some of them call him. Prince William, not allowed. He was allowed to serve in the air ambulance service, but not actually in any live conflict so for obvious reasons uh celtic cross harry harry's feelings being left out william there in his middles um the focus of a lot of attention as i say the king allowing him to um take the limelight really which is a very interesting uh moment in itself how does harry feel about all of this i think we're good to go it says one more and let's remind you while I'm doing this, tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all speculation. It's all my opinion. I just read energy here and disclaimer in the box below. See how it's going. It's been a, a rough uh, time, I would say, in Montecito with the various catastrophes. But this, uh, this must uh, be quite galling. If uh, you pride yourself on your medals and uh, last uh, last big moment, they did, of course, trample all over the graves of um, servicemen and women in the United States and some sort of mock Remembrance Day ceremony, which is truly appalling. And uh, we have three of wands um, as our underlying energy. It's the waiting card. It's the hope and expectation card. So he's maybe been sitting by the phone. Um, thinking that uh, he might get the call uh, Prince William can't do the speech at Omaha Beach uh, you must come uh, it's quite a strange energy it's, it's hope, it, optimism, expectation perhaps if I wait long enough uh, things will uh, come back to me that have been taken away from me it's quite a weird energy um, it's not the dark energy that I would have expected it's a bit delulu uh, really, but that's just me sensing energy, interpreting energy. Heart of the matter for the has been today. And oh, oh yeah, there we get it. The tower. That's uh, that's more like it. Calamitous. I think today of all days will bring home um, to Harry what has 
gone wrong in his life, what he has blown up, uh, the, the many bridges that he has blown up. Uh, there is another day that uh, in the future, hopefully quite far in the future, where uh, another tower moment, I suspect, but we won't go there today. This is bad enough. This is the tower. This is his whole world collapsing in front of his eyes. Can't believe it. Shocking, devastating, uh, a crisis. Uh, unforeseen crisis he did not expect this as i say this is this funny energy this underlying energy of waiting till the last minute for an opportunity to do something perhaps even hanging around hoping that his friends in the united states military would give him a call um air force one has come to pick you up and take you to something we've seen him trotting around importantly in uh, um pearl harbor uh, which offended a lot of people. Uh, so I think he was expecting something and it hasn't happened so far anyway. Time of reading, time of uploading. What's the problem? Yeah, there it is. This is ruin. Reputational ruin. This is not... Uh, well, I, um, I would I would struggle to find worse cards to put together at the centre of a reading and say this is what the reading is about. The Four of Swords is... Uh, retiring, disappearing, wounded. Um, it's supposed to be to heal and to reflect and to contemplate, but you can see that it is someone who is to all intents and purposes dead, and that is his reputation that is dead, that it is hope and his optimism that is now over, and he realizes there. this is a moment of truth. Uh, he's a bit slow on the uptake, allegedly, and uh, it's taken him this long to realize what actually has happened to him and his life and where he is now and how it is going to be going forward. These are huge cards, they're quite devastating. And he's got another devastating moment tomorrow when Prince William acts as usher at the wedding of, not the century, but pretty much up there. Um, so about a rough few days for has been, what's going on behind the scenes? What don't we see? <laughs> yeah, I would say that today, and I, I hate saying this, but this is what I'm getting from that card, is that he probably has put on his uniform. He does have that black uniform he got married in. And forgive me, I do not know what regiment that is. Uh, he's probably put his medals on. And he's probably giving a speech into the air. Um, I think there's a lot of self-soothing going on today with that king of pentacles should have been me he was waiting for it he was expecting it and he's there in his uh uniform he's there with his medals and he's there um um going through the motions of this that's really coming through very strongly and it's pretty scary energy uh really um i have to say I'm not a fan of his, but there are some moments when I get the scary energy where I can kind of understand why the royal family is treating as carefully around him as they are, even though they've shut him down pretty much. They've shut him down very carefully, but he knows for a sword. What's his mind on right now? The moon, yeah. Um, and it's interesting uh, that this moon shows a path, a choice uh, between two paths. Uh, one leads to those towers, one uh, is lit by the moon and it's that doubt and hesitation and where should I go, where should I turn, confusion about where really is the true place, where is home, where is, where is meaning, where is purpose. Uh, it's a very interesting energy because the moon is about the subconscious, it's about fear and doubt and lack of clarity, also some degree of lunacy inherently in that moon card. And uh, so somebody who's really confused, really lost, really not knowing which way to turn, it's giving me a real two of swords energy, uh, this moon card, this particular moon card and this particular tarot deck. Uh, but he's really lost and alone and confused and he doesn't know where home is and he doesn't know what his purpose in life is. And it's pretty uh, alarming energy again, I have to say. Um, so uh, how have things been going in the build up to today? What did I say about 
the Two of Swords, what's actually lurking in the reading, unbeknownst to me, well, consciously unbeknownst to me. There it is, the Two of Swords. He has got some very difficult choices to make, Harry. And there are rumours that he's trying to get himself out of the situation he is in, in his marriage and in Montecito, and in life in general, that would be the Two of Swords, to stay or to go, um, to try and reconcile with family, or to go all in with uh, life in the United States, get that passport, get that citizenship, give up the A1 uh, visa that he allegedly has, <clears throat> cough, cough, and, uh, but the Two of Swords, decision point he he knows this this is coming to a crisis point tower is a crisis and he's been heading towards this crisis point with that two of swords of he has to choose he has to um, make uh, some kind of very final uh, take a very final stand really um, one way or the other and he doesn't want to he's hesitating he's delaying it he's uh, probably looking in all the wrong places for advice. I don't know if there's anyone left who can give him advice. Let's see what's going to happen to him today as this event is going on into later today, the weekend, King of Swords. It's quite similar to the King of Pentacles energy. It's giving me the same kind of vibe. But there is, a, there is an extra spin with the King of Swords because the King of Swords can be lawyers, can be um, executioners, old school ex executioners, uh, very strategic, very shrewd. Maybe there is some advice coming in. It could even be from the King himself who does manifest as the King of Swords uh, when he's in his proper role as King um, because of the June birthday, the official birthday. And of course, it's more uh, detached energy. It's it's more strategic energy, the King of Swords. So it might even be that there is some connection, there is some contact with the King that he tries anyway, uh, but it's trying to assert himself and he might insert himself into the narrative with this King of Swords, which makes me think, oh no, uh, there, is a, there is a slight chance that we might uh, hear something or see something uh, somewhat ridiculous, the dressing up event. Uh, it's pot potential in this card. Uh, but it's also maybe contact with the king. This is this is head of state kind of energy, the king of swords. Um, so he might <clears throat> show up somewhere official in the United States. Brace yourselves. Um, there's plenty of daytime still to go. Of course, as I'm doing this, I'm doing this my evening time. You're all probably midday-ish as I'm doing this. Um, East Coast time anyway. Uh, how does he view Prince William, who has had this big moment, this big opportunity, and he's uh, doing very well. Um, the Hanged Man in reverse. Um, the Hanged Man, it's a different perspective. He's seeing Prince William differently, uh, which is interesting. Um that he he's seen Prince William as the one who's the victim, the one who's powerless, the one who's given up his own personal freedom uh, to be a working member of the royal family. He was gloating about it in his book and in interviews and stuff like that. He's the one that's gone off to live his true and authentic life. And Prince William is the one who married a woman out of duty, not love, and is uh, now doing all these tedious things. He's seeing it differently now with the hanged man in reverse because the hanged man is all about perspective and seeing things differently. He's also seeing Prince William as empowered <clears throat> and no longer uh, stuck and chained in that hanged man energy, but actually unleashed and empowered and able to act and no longer having to sacrifice him and himself and stand back. He's seen him gaining in power and status. That's what's coming through for me. You could read this card quite differently, but this is what I'm reading in this energy, um, that Harry's eyes are beginning to open to the true nature of his brother and his brother's role and his brother's status and standing. Um, uncomfortable viewing if you coming from a place of jealous, jealousy and begrudgement and feeling that it should have been you. There's the King of Pentacles and there... 
you can see it literally in these cards. He views himself as the King of Pentacles, always the Henry VIII, the red beard there, and um, a bit chunky as well. Um, hanged man. He saw William as the hanged man, the sacrifice, the offering, the powerless one, almost a eunuch in the situation. Odd were it to come out, but anyway, that's what came out. Um, pressure that Harry is under. Uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. He's been stopped from traveling. It's a travel card. Uh, first and foremost, the Knight of Wands often adventures to foreign lands. And Harry is not often adventures to foreign lands unless Air Force One picked him up secretly on the way over uh, to France. Knight of Wands in reverse, blocked from traveling, blocked from having this adventure. Still in his heart of hearts, he sees this as an adventure because he sees himself as a veteran as well. He, he sees himself as part of, and I don't want to say rank or file, but I can't think of a better word. The people who've seen active service is a better word or expression. Um, have, he shared that adventure with them and he's still there. They're his cohorts. Um, and he's been blocked from doing that. He's been left out of the fun and the good times and the jollity. And there have even been articles around about this, that Harry's the one with the emotional intelligence and the rapport um, with, you know, the foot soldiers sort of thing. And he can get them laughing and reminiscing and um, relate to them, whereas William's a doer and nobody cares and he hasn't seen active service and blah, blah. Actually, someone pointed out that Prince William saved 200 and something lives. I can't remember the exact number. It, it went past me. But he saved 200 and something lives. Has been, of course, gloated and boasted about ending 20 something lives. Interesting difference, don't you think? Hopes and fears for Prince Harry. Let's give him his full name. The world in reverse. Uh, another big card, another disaster card because it's in reverse. Uh, it's happy endings, upright success, very public success. He's very worried that he's on a very bad, dark path. There's the moon, that dark path. Uh, the world in reverse, failure, massive failure, very public failure. He's very fearful now that he has made some very bad choices. This, this is consistent energy. I can't think when last I did a reading on Harry and I got... Um, optimistic energy, confident energy. I've made the right choices. I'm on the right path. My life is brilliant. And, um, you know, uh, the kind of things that guest speaker would say, lives in a mansion by on the beach, uh, married to a beautiful actress, two beautiful children, successful producer, and all the rest of the garbage that gets bashed out uh, routinely day after day in the comments section. Outcome for Harry. The magician, we're going to get PR spin like you've never seen before in your life. That is what's going to happen. Uh, and it may already be happening as I'm doing this reading where we're going to see something with the King of Swords. And uh, it's going to be spun uh, to make him look good and to give him the last laugh. Because, of course, time-wise, everyone else will have uh, finished their... Um, ceremonies and their events and uh, then Harry can because of time literally Harry can have the stage for this display it could be coming and if it doesn't come it could be coming to blight tomorrow in the wedding if it doesn't come it's in the works we will read articles if we don't see any strutting about um, we might read about it with that magician. He's got his PR people. They've got the one in the UK and the one in the US who apparently contact the newsrooms directly. Sky News Australia was chatting about it, saying that, well, these people actually call us up to discuss the stories, which is unprecedented. They're busy working on something right now. That's your reading. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.